Welcome to Seattle, home of the Space Needle, home of the first Starbucks. We are here at the Port of Seattle. Pike Street is right around the corner. It's a wonderful place to visit. We're going to do a full walkthrough ship tour of the Norwegian Bliss. We're going to take a look at all the public areas. We're going to do this tour deck by deck. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick preview of the upper decks. So if we start off up here on deck 17, right here is the jogging track, some whirlpools, and to the right is the main pool area. Right here is the aqua racer and the ocean loops. Behind the stairs is the American diner, and up here is the go-kart track. And check this out, all the way in the back is the Spice H2O zone. So let's go on and head back to the main pool area. The main pool area is right here midship. There are a couple of pools here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right here is the main pool. A lot of action takes place here in the main pool area. You're gonna enjoy yourself. There's a stage where they play live music or a DJ will come in. There are dance parties at night. There are also other fun activities that take place here in the main pool area. There's a kid's pool right over here. So this is where the kids like to hang out. It's right next to the kid's splash area. The aqua park is a lot of fun. It's for smaller children. There's a little waterfall, plenty of slides and fun things to go around, go under and play on. Directly on the other side of the kid's pool adjacent from the aqua park is the waves bar. Nice little place to grab a drink while you're hanging out. Also keep in mind that directly on the other side of the pool deck, closer to the main pool is the surf bar. So that's another convenient spot where you can grab a beverage. Let's head on into the garden cafe. It's right here in front of the main pool area. The garden cafe is the main buffet area for the Norwegian Bliss. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're gonna find a couple of bars here in the buffet, so it's a convenient spot to grab a drink. Also folks, Keep in mind that the Norwegian Bliss is part of the Breakaway Plus class. I've placed all the sailings of those ships down below the description of the video. So check out those links when you have a chance. Also, if you wanna book either one of those ships or any cruise ship, make sure you give us a call. You'll be so glad that you did. You see, is what we do is that in addition to providing you with all of the promotions that Norwegian offers you, we give you an additional incentive. Yes, that's correct. We provide discounted rates and we do this in many different ways. We have our own block space. Norwegian actually gives us better prices to offer you and we give you an exclusive agency discount. It is amazing and you will be so glad that you called. The best thing that you can do for you and your family is make sure that you are getting the best price. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number right there on the screen. Make sure you give us a call and just keep in mind these are unpublished rates. So to get the discounted rate, you must give us a call. Let's head on down a deck. We're gonna go to the front of the ship and take a look at the observation lounge. This is one of my favorite places on the Norwegian Blitz. Here in the observation lounge, you're gonna find a little buffet area. So it's perfect to come in in the morning, grab yourself a snack, maybe get a coffee. Right here is the bar so you can grab a nice tasty beverage while you enjoy the views. The reason why the observation lounge is so entertaining is because they have panoramic views all the way around the front of the ship. So if you're in Alaska or in the Caribbean, you have a perfect bird's eye view of the ocean. If you're in Alaska, sometimes you'll see whales. And if you're in the Caribbean, you're gonna see those amazing views when you go into port. There are plenty of places to sit. There are comfortable couches and chairs. So it is an amazing area. Let's head all the way to the back of the ship. We're gonna go to deck 17. This is Spice H2O, and this is a favorite area among cruisers. You're gonna find a bar, plenty of loungers, whirlpools, and a nice place to cool off. Is what a lot of people like are the views out of the back of the ship, but also it's a nice spot where you can just catch some rays and then come on over here and cool off in this nice, wet, cool area. It's not working right now, but it will be by the time you cruise on out. Over here is a jacuzzi. Right there is the stage. In the center is where the DJs will set up for the dance parties, and they have a very famous dance party on the Norwegian Bliss, which is the Glow Party. Most people wear a white shirt. That's what you're supposed to wear. You don't have to wear one, but hopefully if you watch this video, you'll bring one with you and enjoy the Glow Party. While you're at the Glow Party or hanging out in the sun, you'll most likely want to get a drink. Over here in the corner is the bars. The bar has little stand-up stools and stools around the bar area. 
Let's go up a little bit. Right before you get to Spice H2O, you're gonna go right by the American Diner. I really like the memorabilia of the American Diner. On the tables, you're gonna find license plates and you're gonna find really cool pictures all throughout the place. There's a nice bar over here that has stools, so it's a convenient spot to grab a drink. The American Diner is a specialty American bar and grill restaurant. Right around the corner is Le Bistro. This is the French restaurant. It's a romantic setting which has nice panoramic views. It's part of the specialty dining. If you want to know the difference between specialty and complimentary, I've placed a link down below the description of the video. Let's take a look at the go-kart track. One thing you'll notice about this track while you're on the ship is that you hardly ever hear it because all these go-karts are electric it's really cool you come out all the way up at the top of the ship go round and round it's fun to race the other cruisers just make sure that you make a reservation right behind the go-kart track is the mini golf here you do not need a reservation and it is complimentary so just head on over grab a club and put away let's take a look at the water slide this is the ocean loop. The bottom's gonna drop right out from underneath you and you're gonna head right on down to the bottom. Over here is the aqua racer. You're gonna jump on a tube and head on down as well. We are almost finished with the upper decks. We have a couple more things to look at. Right here is the laser tag and to the left is the Vibe Beach Club. The laser tag is reservation only, so make sure you make your reservation ahead of time. Over here is the Vibe Beach Club. This is also reservation only. It's an exclusive area for people who want a nice relaxing place to lie in the sun and enjoy nice views. Here you're gonna find a bar, whirlpools, plenty of comfortable chairs, and cabanas. Keep in mind that you can do either a weekly or a day pass. Let's head on down to the lower decks. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of deck eight. Right here is La Cucina, the whiskey bar, and the cavern club. Right past that is the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar at Ocean Blue. Right through here are the stores and the photo gallery. And all the way down at the end is Cagney Steakhouse and Los Lobos. So let's take a look at Los Lobos and Cagney's. Right in between the two dining venues is the A-List Bar, a nice spot to grab a drink. Over to the left is Los Lobos. This is the Mexican restaurant. Keep in mind that Los Lobos is part of the specialty dining. Norwegian offers awesome promotions. We offer those too. So when you call us, ask us about dining packages. You may be able to include one in your cruise fair where you can dine in at least three specialty restaurants. Let's head on out to the waterfront. The waterfront goes all the way around deck eight. If you'd like a suite, you can head on over to Dosi Gelato. It's right out here on the waterfront where you can get a nice tasty Italian ice cream, or you can head right around the corner into the bake shop and get a delicious treat such as a macaroon, a cupcake, or a cookie. Everything here in the bake shop is made fresh daily. Let's head on into the photo gallery. This is where you're gonna find the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board. Sometimes while you're dining, they'll come up to you, they'll ask you to get together, they'll take a nice shot, and if you wanna see those pictures, you can come check them out right here. Right down the way here is Ocean Blue. This is the specialty seafood restaurant. It's a very popular venue. It always filled up, so you're gonna to wanna to make a reservation as soon as you possibly can. When you do your online check-in, you might wanna already see if the dining reservation reservations are open and go ahead and reserve Ocean Blue if you're interested in dining here. And keep in mind that all of the restaurants on Deck 8 go out onto the waterfront. So dining out here is an option. Let's head on over to the other side. We're just going to go through the stores right here. On the other side of the stores is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. They offer mojitos that you've heard of and many that you've never heard of. Hopefully when you book your cabin, You'll have a dining and a drink package included, and you'll be able to enjoy many different types of mojitos. And that's a good reason why you'll want to call us and book with us, because you can ask us all those questions and we'll make sure that you are taken care of. Over here is Malting's Whiskey Bar. With many different fine whiskeys you can choose from, it is an excellent spot to come in and get a before or after dinner drink. Right next to that is the Cavern Club. It's a replica of Liverpool's Music Club. 
It offers Beatles music, tribute bands, performances. It's a really cool area to come in and enjoy some live music. Keep in mind that it does fill up in here, so get one of these tables and chairs nice and early. If you want to get a drink out on the waterfront, you can just go right out of Malting's Whiskey Bar and grab a drink at the bar here. Right across the hall is Cellars Wine Bar. Having a partnership with the Landavi family, it offers an excellent selection of premium wines. Remember to enjoy your wine with a nice tapa. Or you can take that glass of wine and head on over to La Cucina, which is right next to it. This is the specialty Italian restaurant. And remember, it's very romantic to sit outside on the waterfront, which is also available here. Let's take a look at the District Brew House. This is one of my favorite spots because I love beer. Here you'll find over 50 different bottled beers and 24 different beers on tap. Also, at night, you're going to hear a live piano player playing all those fun songs and keeping you entertained. Let's head on in to Food Republic right across the hall from the District Brew House. Here you can enjoy a wide variety of different foods. Here you'll enjoy a fusion of all different kinds of flavors, such as you can enjoy a Mexican dish, sushi, or something like Thai noodles. It's very convenient. You're just going to sit up here at the table and order your dish on one of these iPads. Let's do a quick preview of Deck 7. Right here is the local bar and grill. Right past that is the casino. Right past the casino is the Skyline Lounge. And then all the way at the end is the Manhattan Restaurant. So let's head on into the Manhattan Room. The Manhattan Room is part of the complimentary dining, which means whether or not you have a dining package, this is going to be completely included in your cruise fare. And you can come in anytime that the restaurant is open because Norwegian offers the freestyle dining, which means that you don't need a reservation. All you have to do is come on by. Over here is the Skyline Bar. This is a fun venue to hang out in. It's a great place to grab a drink. There'll be music throughout the entire cruise on the big screens right here. And a lot of people after the Spice H2O parties will head on down into the Skyline Lounge. Let's keep heading on down deck seven. Right here is the casino. The casino is right in the middle of deck seven. So normally to get to anywhere you're gonna go on deck seven, you're gonna walk through the casino. And it's a lot of fun. I like the casino. And they offer many different types of card games, slots. You can play Texas Hold'em. You can also play blackjack. There are plenty of roulette and craps tables. You can also get into really good tournaments like slots. Let's keep heading on down deck seven. We're gonna take a look at the local bar and grill. When you walk over to the right, you're going to go into the restaurant area where you can sit down, dine, order anything off the menu. It's totally complimentary. Right outside the restaurant are stools where you can look down into the atrium, which is really cool because you can see the shows and hear the live music from here. A lot of people like to get a stool right here with a drink and see what's going on down in the atrium. Right here is the local bar. Grab one of these stools and enjoy a beverage or you can grab one of these seats right here. Some specialties that I like to order here are wings, fish and chips, and nachos. Right around the corner is the games area where you can actually bowl. That's pretty neat. Let's head on over to the front of the ship. All the way here at the front is the theater. Here you can enjoy movies, magic shows, musicals. It's always a good idea to come in early before a show. That way you can sit right up front. Also, if you booked an excursion, you will meet up here early in the morning. So make sure that you are ready. Let's take a quick preview of Deck 6. Right here is the atrium, guest services, the shore excursions desk, and Starbucks. Right past that is the social and Cocos, then Teppanyake. And all the way in the back is the mix bar, the savor, and taste. Let's stay here in the back and take a look at the savor and the taste. In between the two restaurants is the Mixed Bar. It's a nice spot to grab a drink before or after dinner. As what we like to do is before we met up with anybody, we like to stop at the Mixed Bar, maybe grab a martini and then head on in. The saver over here is part of the complimentary dining, so it is included in your cruise fare. 
And the Savor is just like the Manhattan Room. It is part of the freestyle dining, which means you do not need a reservation. Keep in mind that Norwegian is cruise casual. So if you want to come in and a nice pair of shorts and tennis shoes, that is fine. Across the hall is the taste. The taste is just like the savor. They have the same exact menu. So it doesn't matter which one you go into, you're going to enjoy the same entrees. Let's head on in to Teppanyaki. This is a favorite among cruisers and many people everywhere. This is the Japanese steakhouse. This is where the chefs are gonna cook the meal right in front of you. Keep in mind that when you come on in, you may be seated with other parties if you have a small party. Over here is Coco's. This is where you're gonna come in right afterwards for a delicious dessert. Enjoy a nice tasty milkshake or a sundae. It's a nice place to hang out and sit while you're waiting for the comedy show to begin. That's gonna take place right here in The Social. Make sure that you make reservations to the comedy shows. They do fill up. You can grab a seat at the bar here or you can sit at one of the tables. Now, when it gets a little bit later, it's gonna turn into the nightclub. Let's take a look at the atrium. Now, if you're coming from the comedy club, then the atrium is gonna be over to the right. You're first going to see the Atrium Bar. This is one of my favorite spots to grab a drink because there's so much action always happening here. Here you're going to enjoy game shows, live music, piano players. Sometimes they'll have dance-offs or other competitions. Over here in the corner is the Internet Cafe. So if you have any trouble getting out of the Internet, just come on by and they'll help you out. Across the atrium is Starbucks. If you'd like to get a specialty coffee, all of the coffees here are a la carte. Now, keep in mind that up in the buffet area and other areas, there is complimentary coffee all day long. Starbucks is just here as an additional option. Over here is the Shore Excursions desk and guest services. If you have any questions at all, Head on by guest services. It's right here in the atrium. They'll help you out with whatever you need. Also, you will find the Shore Excursions desk. I recommend ordering your excursions before you get on board. However, if you have any questions or need to order an excursion, you can stop right on by here. Let's head on in to Q. This is the Texas Smokehouse and Barbecue. This is an amazing restaurant which features live country music throughout dinners. It serves authentic Texas style barbecue, including smoked meats, pulled pork, brisket, beef, and pork ribs. Let's take a look at the Haven area. Right here is the main lounge. It consists of a bar and plenty of places to sit and relax. The Haven area also consists of a restaurant. It's exclusive to anybody that has booked into a Haven suite. You'll need your key card to get into the area if your suite is not in the Haven area. They have suites that are at the front of the ship and in other places on the ship that are not actually in the Haven area, but that's okay. They're gonna give you a key card anyway and you'll still be able to get into here. This is the Haven Courtyard. It consists of a pool and a hot tub. Keep in mind that the Haven does offer other amenities as well. For example, there is 24-hour butler service. There is priority in-bar and debarkation, in-suite dining, and priority boarding for tenders, which is one of my favorites because you want to be able to get to port quickly. Here in the Haven Courtyard, if we go up a deck, you'll find comfortable seating, and then you're gonna find the outside area. This is the sun deck. The sun deck is a nice, relaxing spot to hang out and lie in the sun. There is a whirlpool over here, which has excellent views, so it's really cool when you're pulling in or out of port or just hanging out on a sea day. Let's go into the Horizon Lounge. This is similar to the Observation Lounge, except this is exclusive to Haven guests. It's all the way here at the front of the ship, and it has panoramic views out the front. There is comfortable seating, so there are nice couches and chairs where you can relax and hang out with friends. Over here is an exclusive mini buffet area where you can grab yourself a nice delicious coffee, croissant, or a sandwich during lunch. Over here, up a deck, is the library which offers books and fun games to play. Let's head on over to the back of the ship and take a look at the Pulse Fitness Center. 
This is the gym and it has everything that you need to stay in shape. There are treadmills, stair masters, you can use free weights and plenty of machines. Let's take a look at the Mandara Spa and Salon. Enjoy a nice hot stone massage or acupuncture. What I like are the thermal suites. Here you can come on in and enjoy steam room, a sauna. Over here is a hot whirlpool. Here is the thalassotherapy pool. Enjoy pounding water, hitting your back, giving you a nice natural massage. Over here is the cold room. As what I like to do is I like to go in between the steam room, the salt room, and the cold room. It's really good for the immune system. And right over here is the sauna. Thank you for joining me, folks, on the tour. This is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen.